Hey, Fire Power community, today's whiteboard chat is for the Fire Power at Home workout. We got a ton of lower body movements happening in this workout, so a lot of leg stuff. Make sure that you don't skip out on the warm up today. The warm up starts with a one minute cardio portion of your choice, so meaning a run, a row, if you have access to a bike, erg. Or if you don't, you can do a minute of skipping, a minute of burpees, a minute of jumping jacks, anything that gets the blood flowing a little bit and gets your heart rate up. After you've done your cardio, you're going to hit four sets of an alternating um, Tabata style kind of workout called with an air squat and something called a groiner. So the groiner, we're going to go down into a plank position and you're going to start one leg at a time, so you're going to bring the left foot just outside of the left hand here. You can sink the hips, move around once, bring it back into the plank, and then we're going to switch sides and do the same thing on the right side. Now, after you've done your four sets of alternating air squats and alternating groiners, then you're moving on to the big meat and potatoes, which is the workout portion, and it kicks off with two minutes and 30 seconds of a max dumbbell thruster. So we're looking for you to pick a weight that is moderate to light, that you can keep moving in big sets without having to break or take too long of a rest. We are working, trying to get as many as we can. We take a minute 30 to rest for 90 seconds, and then we go into three sets for max reps of a one minute dumbbell goblet curtsy lunges. So we're holding our dumbbell in the goblet position just under the chin, and we're taking a step across from behind, resetting, then repeating onto the other side, just going back and forth for that whole minute. Right away transitioning into a max jumping air squat, and again, trying to keep it moving as many as we can. Put your head down and get to work, and then finishing it off with a minute of wall sit. If you're feeling good at that wall sit, you wanna add a little bit more spice, go ahead and hold a plate, hold that dumbbell just in the goblet position and give yourself a little bit more work there. We're looking for you to try and hit a very similar number of reps across each of those three sets. There will be a little bit of drop off as fatigue sets in, so you can anticipate that, but try and keep it um, like the difference no more than a few reps on each one. Then we take a minute 30 to rest and we finish it off with another set of max dumbbell thrusters. At that point, your legs are gonna be pretty fried. So just try and keep it moving as best as you can. Finish off strong. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great weekend.